Hello children. So after a long time I came to you with a new lesson from grade 6 that is circus lesson. So we will go to the lesson now. When it is circus lesson you may have observed circus in our day to day life. No children? So here I have drawn few circles. But sometimes they may not look circus but for a completely curved line we call what? A circle. Okay, what do we call? Circle. For what? For a completely curved line we call, for a completely curved figures we call circles. So as I mentioned you earlier in our day to day life, we can observe circular shapes. There are so many objects and items with circular shapes, right? For an example, here I have taken a lid of a bottle. So, this lid has a circular shape actually. By keeping this on a surface, on a flat surface, we can draw a circle. Right? And when we consider a coin, a 5 rupee coin I have taken, so it has a circular shape. See? And I can draw a circle by keeping this on a paper. And a CD. See? It has a circular shape and we can draw a circular circle with the help of this CD. And here I have taken a tape also. It also has a circular shape. And when we consider so many objects, right, so many objects, see, at the bottom even we can observe a circular shape, right. But children, sometimes there are raw objects. We think that those objects have circular shapes. Actually, those don't have. We think that they have. For example, sun, moon, earth, then orange. Orange like this. We think that, oh, it has a circular shape. We can draw a circle with the help of that. But it's wrong. Okay? It's wrong because it has a spherical shape. It is like a sphere. Right? It doesn't have a circular shape. By keeping this on a surface, we cannot draw a circle also. So remember, these objects, that means this orange and here I have taken a line. So these don't have a circular shape. By keeping this on a paper, we cannot draw a circle. So earlier I showed you some objects, those CDs, coins and some bottle leads. So, with the help of those, we can draw circles. So, these have circular objects. So, I hope you understood what is the difference between the circular objects and the others, right? So, here children, uh, you can see the definition of circle here. A figure with a completely curved line is called what? A circle, as I mentioned you earlier. Right? So, for a completely curved line, we call circle. Right? Then, below that, I have given you some items and the objects that we can observe circular shapes. See? Coin, ring, bangle, clock, wheel, bottle lid, button, drum. Look. When you see these examples, easily you can remember these. <laughs> Button, clock, drum, bangle, look, ring, a sieve, a wheel, a coin, bottle lid. So all these objects can be used to draw circles, right? And we can observe circular shapes in these. Okay? And here... I explained this earlier also. Can we use for line items or objects to draw circles? Actually, can we observe circular shapes? Sometimes you may think that, oh, it has a circular shape, but it has a spherical shape, not a circle, right? So this is the earth, a ball can be seen. So these objects don't have a circular shape. They have spherical shape. So these are not the examples that we can observe circles right right here i have given you a small poem we will sing this once right 
A circle is a shape that goes around and around. A circle is a shape that goes around and around. It's like a pizza and a cookie, a ring and a coin. A circle is a shape that goes around and around. So I hope that you can practice this at home. Next, you can do this at home. This exercise can be done at home. Right now, I will explain some special points under this lesson. What is this question? What do we call for the middle of the circle? Right, you can see a circle is drawn here. Right, for the middle point, what do we call? Hmm? There is a middle point for any circle. For this midpoint, we call center of the circle. Remember this, center of the circle. For the middle of the circle, we call center of the circle right and to find this center at least how many times do we need to fold the circular lamina so children what is this circular lamina that means in a paper if you can draw a circle and cut it that is called a circular lamina right so when you fold this circular lamina at least two times you will be able to find the center it happens like this if this is the circle once you fold it accurately as if to get two equal pieces then when you unfold it you may get one line right again from a different place you can fold and unfold i will do this activity and show you right uh, when you fold and unfold it, you can see when these two straight lines are meeting at one place, that is called the center. More than two times even you can fold, then all the lines are passing through this center only. More than two lines you can draw, no problem. But at least how many times do we need to fold this circular lamina to find the center? It is two times. Okay, right. Then, our next point. What do we call for the distance from the center to the circle? Right, here I have drawn a circle. Actually, this is not in your syllabus, but it's better if you can know this. So, here after finding the center of the circle, from the center to the circle, this is the circle now, uh, to the circle, look at the distance and that distance is every time same, right? From the center to the circle. When we draw a few lines with the help of a ruler, those distances are equal in the same circle. That distance is called what children? It is called radius, right? And when, if I have drawn here a small circle, uh, in this small circle from the center to the circle, look at the distance. Is it equal to this radius? Yes, of course, this is also a radius. But we can see these two circles are different with size. So this has a greater radius than this. We know that the radius of different circles are different. That distance is different, but in the same circle only, it becomes equal. When we consider this circle, the radius is equal. The radius is equal, but in two different circles, the two radii are different, right? If their, size are, if their sizes are different. Then, how many axes of symmetry are there for a circle? When we take a circle, here, just think I have taken here a circular lamina and I am unfolding it as if to get two equal pieces like this. Just think I have folded, right? I can get two equal pieces, no, which are coinciding. That means this piece lies on the other one completely. Uh, this line is called an axis of symmetry. So children, for a circle, such how many lines will be there as you think you can fold from anywhere that you want and get 
so many axes of symmetry so many are there so in mathematics for so many what do we call infinity infinity we cannot count there are so many axes of symmetry understood so for a circle such how many lines can be drawn infinity we call them as axis of symmetry next year you will learn this properly so there are infinity number of axis of symmetry for a circle right and the next point you learned that earlier using a cd coin bangle using such type of objects you can draw circles right and you know what there is an instrument also that we can use to draw circles what do we call pair of compasses that is the instrument children okay that is not an object actually so you must know the difference between the instrument and the objects and items that we can use to draw circles what were the objects and items we discussed earlier cd coin ring bangle plate those are the objects or items that we can use to draw circles but what is the instrument in mathematics that we use to draw circles that is the pair of compasses pair of compasses by fixing the pencil a short pencil we can draw this so next year you learn this properly for your general knowledge only i have given you this one you may have seen sometimes right singhala and english medium online classes for 2021 from eduhunter.lk if you are willing to join our new online classes from grade 6 to 11 you can register through www.eduhunter.lk limited seats are available For more details please contact 0710 777 656